So quick video, four ways to improve your paleo lifestyle. First one would be get off the caffeine. Now I know a lot of people have read Rob Wolf's book, Paleo Solution, and Rob Wolf says that, you know, 500 milligrams of caffeine a day, your bulletproof coffee, all that stuff's really healthy. Nicotine gum, Rob Wolf chews nicotine gum, he promotes nicotine gum as a stimulant to get through, uh, get through the day. I'd say get off the nicotine, get off the caffeine. All caffeine, all nicotine, all theobromine. That's the first tip to improve your paleo lifestyle. Get off the drugs. Don't listen to Rob Wolf and all those guys about drugs are healthy. They don't know what the fuck they're on about. They're sincere but sincerely wrong. They need drugs because they're not getting enough carbs. Anyway, so first rule, get rid of the drugs. No caffeine, nicotine. Second rule, get sleep. Get sleep. It's hard when you're on caffeine to get enough sleep. It's hard when you're not getting enough carbs to get enough sleep. So when you get off this caffeine, you'll be able to sleep better. Get a deeper sleep. Put a little eye mask on. Get to bed early. Get up early. Third tip for the paleo to improve your paleo lifestyle would be I don't know, can I razzle a few undercarb, low carbs out there? Eat more carbohydrates. Fruit is slimming. Sweet potatoes are slimming. If you think cars make you fat, go to China in the country areas where people live on white rice four times a day and tell me if there's an obesity epidemic going on. If there is, I'll refund your airline ticket. Seriously. Why the fuck is most of Africa and Asia slim? And I'm not talking about the starving regions, I'm talking about the people who have sufficient calories for generations and generations. They're not fat. They're slim. They eat a starch-based diet. Fourth and final tip if you to improve your paleo lifestyle would be go vegan, man. Because when you got all that paleo shit in your gut, man, the, the rotting meat is putrefying. Look up putrescenes. You got that meat in your gut, it's rotting there. It's gonna contribute to bowel cancer, colon cancer, prostate ovarian cancer. Animal products aren't healthy. If they were, the people who eat the most animal products would have the best health, but we don't see that at all. Lauren Cordain is the grandfather of the paleo movement. Sure, he's a nice guy, but he's overweight. He's heading towards obesity. Look at this photo he puts in his book. Lauren Cordain looks slim. This is what he looks like today. Sure, he's a nice guy. He's heading towards obesity. Long-term paleo results, that's what you're going to get to. I don't know about you, but I want to be lean, Drug-free, no steroids, no human growth hormone, <coughs> none of that stuff. I just want to be natural, healthy, having fun, and not having to do intermittent fasting calorie restriction. So that's the four tips to improve your paleo diet. Get off the drugs, get to sleep, get more carbs, go vegan. <laughs>